Tom, so we were listening to the speech. You've been covering this all week. Was there any surprise, any key takeaways from you from what Xi Jinping has had to say so far? Well, in terms of the speech, he was really just focusing again on the key priorities for the party and for this Politburo Standing Committee. Of course, there were no major surprises, no major outliers in terms of the men that he's lined up with there on the stage. People that he's worked with for years, sometimes for decades, who are now going to be carrying out his policy agenda. And of course, there's going to be speculation as to who may succeed him in 2022, if at all. And speculation may turn to the wider Politburo, that grouping of 25 people. In terms of the speech, he talked about a new historical crossroads that China would be at in the next five years. And he put some flag posts down in terms of anniversaries, talking about next year, 2018, the 40 years since China embarked on its reform an opening program and saying that reform and opening would continue, that it was fundamental to China's well-being, economic well-being and the well-being of its people, saying that it would help to elevate China and the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation, one of his key catchphrases. Also talking and looking ahead to 2019, President Xi pointing out it would be the founding of the PRC, 70th, 70th anniversary of the founding of the PRC. He looked ahead to 2020 and said that that is when China would be entering the stages of a completely uh, moderately prosperous society. Uh, the march towards common prosperity is the way he described it. And he said there would be a key focus on eradicating poverty in China. Again, tying to this idea that inequality is now a key focus for the Chinese leadership on the same path as growth. 2021, he said, would be the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Chinese Communist Party. So narrowing down his focus for the Politburo Standing Committee, this group of six men who joined him yeah. on stage here, who are going to lead this policy agenda and implementation over the next five years.